Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Thursday, December 30th. Tesla has issued two recalls on almost half a million Model 3 and S vehicles. The first involves the latch of the Model S front trunk, which could have been misassembled, leading it to open by itself while driving. The second recall affects the rear-view camera harness, which could lead to it being damaged and not working anymore. The fixes are fairly small and simple, but it's a significant recall for Tesla since they need to physically inspect almost half a million cars, something that will put strain on the service team over the next few months. Many Ford dealers are taking advantage of the strong demand for the Ford F-150 pickup and marking it up by thousands of dollars. As we previously reported, Ford has about 200,000 reservations for the electric truck, and dealers are currently trying to convert them into orders. Several reservation holders are reporting that their local dealerships are asking for up to an additional $10,000 per vehicle. We even heard of one dealer in Virginia trying to ask for $30,000 more. The good news is that some Ford dealers are committing to the MSRP, which starts at $53,000 for the mid-level XLT, and a base version expected to start around $40,000. New York City is closing out the year with a big electrification move. They're adding 184 Ford Mustang Mach-E's to the fleet, and they also approved an option to buy 250 Tesla Model 3's. The program is part of a new $420 million investment to drastically cut citywide climate emissions and advance carbon neutrality something that Mayor de Blasio announced earlier this month. This includes a plan to buy over 1,250 EVs in 2022 alone. Today, the city announced that it placed an order for 184 Mustangs and approved the option for 250 Model 3s. Ford has always had a significant market share in the police car market, but that was before the impending electric disruption. And in Electrek's Green Energy Brief, Stockholm-headquartered Hexacon, which develops floating offshore wind farms, has formed a 50-50 joint venture with Bologna-based clean energy developer Avapa Energy. They're going to develop offshore farms for Italy. Italy currently has no operating offshore wind farms, but the National Wind Energy Association, ANEV, has set a target of 5 gigawatts of floating wind energy by the year 2040. Today's community comment comes from Larry Davidson, who says, quote, Something new, a wheel, tell us more, please. Well, I'm glad you asked, Larry. I'm actually not shy to leave things up on the workbench that I'm working on, with the hope that the audience has a tiny bit more confidence in the report. I try not to use a green screen because I feel like it sets the wrong tone, although I'm clearly not above it in all cases. On April Fool's Day back in 2020, I used a green screen in an abandoned office while making the show because I was visiting family. Later next week, actually, I'm going to be traveling again, but this time Quick Charge will be shot on location at the CES trade show. This time it's not a joke, but you will be seeing me do the show with a mask on. Crazy times, huh? Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great 2022.